I'm Lee Berger. I'm a research professor at Vitz University and explorer in residence at National Geographic. And behind me, 200 meters inside of this cave, 30 meters underground in a tiny confined chamber, we've discovered perhaps one of the richest uh, early hominin sites, certainly in southern African history and perhaps on the continent. When um, we got into this system, on the 10th of November for the first time, it didn't take us long to realize that there were many, many individuals in here and many, many fossils. In fact, we've cataloged over a thousand uh, individual elements. Thanks. No, you can stay. <laughs> when I realized what it would take to get into this system, I put a call out on social network, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, amongst all our colleagues. And within 10 days, I had 57 qualified applicants from around the world. What you're looking at is the side. I shortlisted it and eventually picked six extraordinary young women scientists who have been now working for 21 days. These young women scientists are working shifts of, of as long as six or seven hours underground in this tiny confined space of about two and a half meters by about 22 meters, a very narrow passageway. Each of their physiques is suitable to get down an 18 centimeter slot, but more so their minds are suitable to, to be brave enough to move down into that very dangerous situation. That takes something special. A 1072 yellow tag. Each of which now has probably recovered more early hominin fossils than any other living human being. Upper left molar. This site has so exceeded my expectations initially that I've quit hoping about things. It will just continue to do so. I can see that. There are thousands more down there. Uh, and we will regroup, replan, get back in here in some time in the near future, and let this site tell us what remarkable story it has to tell us. So we have to leave it. Yeah.